All right, in this video, we are going to talk about interfaces and it is similar to aliases or custom types that we talked about in the previous video. So I'm going to delete this new post variable here, but I will keep these types. So interfaces are similar to custom types. It allows us to create a pattern that can be used as a type in our project. Let's create one and we will talk about the differences. So in order to define an interface in TypeScript, we can use the keyword interface and then give it a name, let's say user. Now with aliases, we would set this using the assignment operator to a data type or to an object. But with interfaces, we can't do that. And you can see it's already giving me an error because it is expecting a curly bracket. So right after the name, we don't have any symbols. We are just providing the curly brackets that is the body of our interface. So that is the first difference between an alias and an interface. We don't need this assignment operator. And the second difference is that interfaces only apply to object types. So you can't have this syntax with an interface. And that is the difference. So let's define a pattern for our user interface. I want to have an ID, just like the type post we have up here. So that ID needs to be a number. We also need a name for our user. So that is going to be a string. And let's have a role, but I want to make this optional just as an example. And this is going to be a string as well. And also let's delete these aliases. We don't need them anymore. So let's have a new user variable. And the type of this using colon is user. So our user interface is the type of this new user. And we can set this to an object, which is our interface that needs an ID. Let's say one, let's add a name. And we don't have to add the role because it's optional. Now let's define another interface and see how these can be useful. So let's say I also have a post interface and my post will also have an ID and a title of type string and an author. Now the type of this author is going to be our user interface. So if you followed my Laravel videos, this is kind of a pattern we worked there. We always had two objects. One was our post, one was our user, and they were sort of connected. So now I want to create a new post variable and use that post interface. So I can set the type to post. And now this is expecting an ID, let's say one again, and a title that I will say post one and author. So if we hover over this, it will tell us that this author is looking for a type user. And we are creating that type up here. So we can just pass down that new user and that would be our new post. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to log that new post into the console to see what we get. So let's run this in the console. So we already opened this tab in the previous videos where we ran a node command. I can just repeat that and we get an object, which is the post with the ID, the title and the author, which is again, another object with the ID and the name. And that's how we can define interfaces in TypeScript using the interface keyword, which is a pattern for our objects. Now, another advantage of using interfaces over aliases is that you can extend interfaces. Let's have an example of this. I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to create a person interface. This person would have a name and an age. So we know everyone has a name and an age. Now, let's say we have another interface that is a user. Now, each user is going to have the same properties as a person interface. So we can extend that using the extends keyword and then pass down the name of the other interface that we want to extend and then add the curly brackets. So basically we are merging these two interfaces into one. When we use the extends keyword, we are inheriting all the properties of the extended interface. So this user interface will have an ID of type number and a role of type string. Let's also have another property of type Boolean just to cover more types. So now let's create a new user. So the type of this new user variable is going to be user. And we want to set this to an object. And if we hover over the name, you can see it is expecting ID role is active, but also name and age because we are extending this person. And that interface is expecting two properties. So we need an ID, let's say one and a role let's say admin and a property is active. We set it to true. We need a name and we need an age, but if we don't provide it, you can see we get the error. So we need to provide all the properties that both of these interfaces need. And now we have a new 
object that is using both these interfaces. And that's about interfaces. In the next video, we will talk about union types.